know about you guys, but my hair is not straight or curly or basically just wavy. It's just like fluffy. I need to get ready for my birthday dinner with my family. We gotta hurry. Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to our channel. And today I am getting ready or I'm doing a get ready with me for my birthday dinner. Today I am turning 19 years old old oh my gosh i feel i feel so old right now but i also feel like 19 isn't like a cool age you know i feel like 19 is just a filler age 18 you know you become a legal adult and everything and you go to college like i feel like 18 is like a superior year and now i turned 19 and like there's just not really anything special about it like it's just 19 and then 20 like you're in your 20s you're no longer a teen this is my last year as a teenager that is crazy i've been a teenager for how long for six years well 19 seven six seven years i don't know but i've been a teenager for a long time and this is my last year that's kind of sad like that's kind of depressing i'm gonna be in my 20s though i hear 20s is pretty fun so i'm excited to become the 20s but enough of that all that because i need to get ready for my birthday dinner with my family joseph and my friends we're kind of all doing like a big birthday dinner at magiano's if you guys don't know what magiano's is magiano's is an italian restaurant i've been craving some good pasta so i am super excited but i have like an hour and a half to get ready so i kind of have to get ready quick the place is kind of far so i honestly have like an hour to get ready so we gotta hurry so i got out of the shower we have my little thing here i've been kind of letting it air dry because i've been trying to like you know healthy hair all that stuff but i don't have enough time to let it fully air dry so i got my dandy blow dryer ow something got in my eye sorry the lighting's a little iffy it's kind of dark out right now because it's nighttime. yeah it's a late dinner even though it's my birthday i still had classes today so we had to do really so i had to do a late birthday dinner because some of my friends also had my mom is calling me hey i'm in the middle of filming now that i let my hair air dry i need to brush it out and i need to blow dry this <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but my hair is not straight or curly or basically just wavy. It's just like fluffy. Like if I had to describe my hair, I would describe it as fluffy. If you guys are wondering where I'm doing all my hair and makeup right now, it's literally right here. I'm obsessed with this mirror because I feel like the light in there. You see that? It just looks so harsh. Also, everything in there is yellow. Didn't think that was really aesthetically pleasing. So I decided to do it out here. So yeah, see like my bed's right there my dead lights and I'm right here straightener wait that's not my straightener that's my computer cord I have so many cords over here my freshman year of college is almost over I have like what two and a half weeks left and it's finals wish me luck because I'm actually very scared I have three exams and two essays lovely all in a time span of two weeks I am very scared I am very scared. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna straighten the bottom pieces because I feel like my top is pretty straight, but my bottom needs help. How straight does it look now? Oh, 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 I almost died. That thing almost hit my leg. Okay, it's looking a lot better. Yeah. Now it's time for my favorite one, makeup. I haven't worn makeup in a while, so when I do makeup, it just makes me so happy. Looking a little bit oily. Got some acne, but don't worry guys. The after product, ah. And I just got a bunch of makeup from Lori Mercier and their PR box. Obsessed, so I'll tell you everything that I use because honestly, I'm obsessed with the products that I use. So the first one is Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, Obsessed. I feel like it covers enough, like it's kind of like a, um, like a second skin. And so honestly, I just use, since it's a moisturizer, I just use my hands. <gasps> I forgot to do my primer. Well, I already forgot a step, guys. Can I do a primer after a moisturizer? I don't know. You know what? Today, we're going to do it. You know why? Because makeup has no rules, okay? If you forget a step, just do it after. A little bit on my neck. Now, at least I look glowing. Instead of, like, oily, I'm not crying. It's just the moisturizer's in my eye. I think I'm okay. 
So I have the Hydrating Primer by Lori Mercier, but I also have, I wanna use their other one. Yes, I wanna use the Blurring Primer from Lori Mercier because I feel like I'm already very moisturized, so I don't really need that. I need more of the blurring the pores kind of thing. I need more of the blurring effect today. Yeah, that feels so good. Wow. You can really feel a difference after you use that. Holy moly. And now I'm going in with Tarte Concealer. And when I say I'm in love with this, literally in love. I saw this little hack on TikTok on how to cover up your under eyes without like wasting product. See, look, put a little bit here and a little bit there. Instead of doing like the whole triangle. <gasps> Oops. Instead of doing like the whole triangle thing, you do just a little because it covers just as much. Like you don't have to waste so much product. And then we're gonna use this brush. It's dirty, don't look at my brush. You can't call me out on my birthday, okay? It's, it's just a little, <laughs> just a little dirty. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just tap this in. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna put some on my acne too. I don't want those to be showing. I just put dots. Mm, I got a little guy right down there. See, I don't think I have to apply it on my forehead or anything. My forehead and chin are usually, I usually don't get acne there. I usually only get my acne right on my cheeks, just right here. If I have any leftover product, I'll put it on my forehead and my chin and then kind of travel it down to kind of spread it. Let's get some powder up in here. We got a tiny one. This is also from Laura Mercier. It's the translucent setting powder. Love it. Definitely gets rid of the um, the shiny look and gives you more of like a matte look. And then we're gonna use my Morphe brush. Wiggle it. Oh, powder got on my jeans. We're just gonna. Huh. Voila. All right, now let's add some color to this face because I look white. I literally look the same color as this brush. Time for the Laura Mercier bronzer. Mm, I love me some bronzer. I feel like it just, it truly gives you that like sun-kissed kind of look. Like you got some sun today. So look at that. I also, it already looks better. Just kind of blend it in. All right, and now it's time for Blush. Actually, I think I broke my blush. Oh, oh, do I not have a blush? Eyeshadow. Oh, no. Laura Mercier. What is this? That looks cool. I don't really use that, though. I guess we are now. Let's put some on my eyelids. When I find new makeup, I just apply it wherever. And my eyelids are shiny. Cute. <gasps> Yay, I found one. It's from Tarte. Thank goodness. We'll just pack that on there. Thank goodness I found something. And a little bit on the nose. Very easy, very natural look. Let's apply some mascara. I don't really like this mascara, not gonna lie. I ran out of my favorite mascara and I've been using like my backup mascara and I just kinda don't like it. Cause I feel like I always get it on my eyelids. Let's try this. I know my lips are crusty. I haven't done my lips yet. One eye, the other eye. It's a pretty good mascara. I get it everywhere. See, look, it's already bringing the look together. We got the hair, we got the makeup. Now I just gotta do the lips. And then next, outfit. I'm gonna be doing like this lip gloss. Um, I think it's Tarte. Not gonna lie, most of my makeup is either from Tarte or Laura Mercier. Then we're just gonna, I'm obsessed with this lip gloss. Beautiful. This looks so good. I'm super excited. Okay, time to pick out the outfit. So I think I'm gonna wear these jeans. I think I'm gonna wear these jeans. Also, it is kind of cold right now in Florida. It's just in the 60s. What if I do like a, a like a light sweater moment? Like it's very thin and it's cropped too, because it's from Shein. I don't know why. I feel like Shein clothes they're just always so thin and it's cropped. And I think that would be really cute. Also with like a cute belt. All right, guys, let me change real quick, and then I'll show you guys the outfit. Okay, guys, so this is the outfit. We got the crop sweater. You see, super cute. I was gonna wear higher-waisted pants because I really don't want my belly button to be showing for dinner, so I'm gonna wear ones that kind of come up a little bit higher. Peep the shoe. Just some 
uh, what is it called? What is those called? Air Forces. Goodness, I couldn't think of the word. But yeah, so also I'm gonna wear like a black belt so it's gonna make it look even more cute because I feel like something's missing. I think this outfit is super cute. Also, it's super comfy and I love outfits that are super cute and super comfy. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, it's gonna be right over there. And if you wanna see yesterday's video, it's gonna be right over there. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, I really like that coloring. Very nice. I look